Hey guys, Tyler here. More recently, in celebration of Trans Visibility Day, the White House account actually posts this. It says right here that transgender Americans are part of the fabric of our nation. On Transgender Day of Visibility, our administration honors the extraordinary courage of transgender Americans and reaffirms our commitment to forming a more perfect nation where all people are treated equally. Today we send a message to all transgender Americans. You are loved. You are heard. You are understood. You belong. President Biden. Now, at first glance, you would think that this kind of message is actually a good thing towards transgender individuals, but it seems as though that this particular day was done on March the 31st, and this year it's a celebration of Easter, and because this year on the 31st is a celebration of Easter, many people have interpreted this tweet as an attack against Christians and Christianity. Now, let's look at some of the tweets down below. It says right here, Today is Easter. Stop the insult of Christianity. It's bad enough that Biden's DOJ doesn't persecute hate crimes against Christians, but now the White House is trying to erase Easter. This one says, Shut the fuck up. Today is Easter. You will be judged one day, and you will be judged harshly. We must fight to end the deadly genocides that cops are committing against transgender people of color. I guess, obviously, that's a joke tweet right there that he was doing right here. Now, there's, like, some other tweets right here. It says, like, it's Easter Sunday, not National Mental Disorder Day. It's Jesus Visibility Day. Like, there's like a lot of people right here that basically are saying, you know what, you're wrong. It's not necessarily this particular day because it's actually Easter Sunday. Now, let's look, look at the history behind this whole entire day. This is not the first time that Trans Visibility Day has actually been a sting. This date for March the 31st has been around since 2009. So, even before Joe Biden did in fact talk about this particular day, people were still celebrating it for trans visibility. Now, let's look at the other kind of statements that have been done over the years. Now, this statement was done by Joe Biden in 2021, prior to this year. This statement was also done by Joe Biden again prior to this year as well. So basically, the Biden administration acknowledged Trans Visibility Day prior to this year for Easter. And so if it was truly an attack on Christians, why is it that the White House acknowledges this particular day on every other year prior to this one? Like, <laughs> it does not necessarily make any sort of sense whatsoever. Also, it's well worth stating that Easter itself is not necessarily a set date whatsoever because every single year, Easter is a different date. So when it comes down to March the 31st, it has been celebrated in 1619, 1630, 1641, 1652, 1709, 1720, 1771, 1792, 1793, 1850, 1861, 1870, 1881, 1879, 1989, 2000, 2000, that that we're basically celebrating right now corresponds to the transgender day. So I don't necessarily understand how people can possibly say that this whole entire day is an attack on Christians when in reality this whole entire day has been celebrated since 2009. It's also been celebrated by the Biden administration prior to Easter this year. And so I think people should really 
really, <laughs> really calm down. And also, two days can actually coexist at the same time. Like, some people can celebrate Easter, some people can celebrate this transgender day, they can celebrate both of them. It's not like one or the other. And so, this whole entire issue is like a nothing burger. It's a complete nothing burger. But that's my whole entire stop process on this whole entire matter.